Hey YouTubers, this is Lee. This is my reef. I uh, just wanted to give you a cost analysis on owning and starting a saltwater aquarium. So, key factors. You're going to need the tank, of course, and depending on what kind of style tank you go for, open top, uh, canopy, a built-in plug-and-play system. This system uh, is about 180 litres, 40 gallons, uh, and it will uh, cost you around £600. You're going to need lighting system, and lighting system will be a uh, preference on what kind of stock you're going to hold in there. So for me, I have um, corals, um, SPS, LPS. Uh, I went with a Maxpec Razor 16 Calvin, and that was just under £400. Uh, you're going to need a return pump, as they don't come with the original uh, setup. So um, again, uh, TMC 1500 for this tank. Um, it was 40 pounds you're gonna need uh, heaters I say heaters plural because of um, one wall uh, as a backup or you're gonna need one for a mixing station for the salt you're gonna need salt you're gonna need food and you're gonna need additives at some stage salt uh, container a box a about 20 kilos will cost you around 60 to 80 pounds depending on the brand i use kent marine salt i've always used this salt it mixes up nicely um, and it is one of the cheaper ones out there if you buy it from a store it's around 60 65 pounds buy it online depending on the deals of the day um, i paid 54.99 and that salt will last me nine months um, you're going to need some strub substrate, so uh, sand possibly, if you're going to go for bare bottom then fine, live rock or uh, reef dried rock. L uh, sorry, dry reef rock is a lot cheaper, better for, the, um, uh, for not taking it out of the oceans um, and you're not going to get pests and parasites, so at least you know that that's good. Also you can aquascape it while it's dry, so if I had to redo this I would have got dried reef rock from the get go. I used live sand and then cycled my tank as usual, which would have been about eight to 10 weeks. So I cycled for eight weeks. You have to be patient with this hobby. There are certain costs involved. You're gonna need a reverse osmosis system if you're gonna have a big tank, more than 40 uh, gallons. Main reason being is you're gonna be going back and forth up to the LF store to get uh, reverse clean osmosis water and or mixed salt water to do your water changes with and it is a pain and it is a hassle and it is heavy so my advice buy an RO system they're around 125 pounds for a five stage RO system there's plenty of uh, trusted companies out there in the UK you can buy them from and they do delivery so uh, that's my advice on that um, other key factors, um, you may be a UV sterilizer. I went with TMC 300 for this tank, uh, again around 140 pounds. I don't have any reactors running on this tank, I use carbon in a bag. Uh, that's around 10 pounds, lasts me a month and it comes in a box, it's by Fluval. Um, you're going to need some containers, so some food grade uh, water containers, about 25 litres each, so they cost around 5 pounds from Amazon. All of these things is around £1,200 to set up. From start to finish, I've probably spent just under £3,000. Uh, and this is on a small system. Same kind of size as a Red Sea Reef at 250 um, That tank might be a bit more expensive than this. I think it retails around £899. Um, it's probably better, better glass, to be honest. And it's got a uh, more of a lip underneath, um, more of a stronger feel. The sump I didn't like because of the way this it was set out. It was quite a small sump with a, um, the RO reservoir wasn't big and it was on top of the rest of it. It made it a little bit difficult to get into from the videos I saw. Um, my RO system is a 25 litre drum, which is to the side of the tank, which you can't see, I've boxed it in because of the cat. Um, but basically it's behind there and the tubes run directly into the 25 litre drum when it's filled and that lasts me around seven days. Otherwise, uh, I think in most uh, you know, reservoirs uh, for RO run out within three to four working days. That's not long enough for me, especially if you go away. So I uh, scrap that and use that for storage. Um, this tank is, this uh, hobby is, sorry, is a great um, hobby to get into. It can be expensive. You can do it on the cheap when you start. Um, but you're going to need the original setup cost. Um, so, um, you know, 
put aside anywhere between a thousand pounds to start you don't need the protein skimmer straight away um, you don't need to buy loads of corals at the beginning you don't need to buy loads of fish at the beginning just get your tank set up get it cycled you know choose the right equipment to start with I've had this lighting system my protein skimmer my return pump uh, for running now for about three to four years I've not replaced a thing on them um, they are great equipment um, if I had to do anything different if I had the money, maybe I would have gone a bigger tank. Bigger is always better. A bigger surface of water uh, can have more fish in, um, and and you know, stock more. But for me now, I want color of pop on corals. Um, I may get another green mandarin at some point when I get back from my holiday, so I can uh, feed them correctly because they are slow eaters. You do need to target feed them a little bit. They will eat. Uh, everything pretty much um, not just live copia pods especially if they're from the store watch them see if they eat uh, frozen frozen food obviously like uh, you know brine shrimp things like that um, they will eat it I've never come across one that doesn't um, there we go so I hope you like this video um, I will do uh, more videos uh, to come they will be on different subjects um, of um, saltwater tanks um, if there's any comments you want to leave, please like, dislike, subscribe, um, trying to grow, trying to give something back to the community of YouTube. There's a lot of great people out there. I just want to give a shout out to that have helped me with this, uh, this hobby as I've gone along. And they are uh, Mark Callahan of uh, Mr. Saltwater Tank. Look his videos up. They are great. Uh, Bolt Reef Supply. Um, they're another great one. Um, Miss Saltwater Tank uh, is very good. Um, you've got some uh, Dustin's uh, fish tanks. He is uh, tropical though. I did have a tropical tank before this, so again, very insightful, very uh, good good videos. I like his uh, his stuff. Um, and um, you know you'll see a lot of uh, great people out there willing to help you. Um, you know, just take your time with this hobby. Uh, peace out and uh, like, subscribe. Thank you. Bye.